Welcome. Poor posture causes biomechanical instability. It causes a significant weakening of the posterior muscles, causing those muscles to stretch, significant weakening of the anterior deep flexors, causing this forward head posture, rounded shoulders. The biggest, largest epidemic in the world today. Now you're saying, well, it can't be so bad. But if you look at the majority of people who are walking around today, look where their ears are centered. The ears should be centered over the shoulders. The ears are going forward. The head is going forward like this. The weight of the head being 12 pounds, for every inch you go forward, it's an additional 10 pounds. Two inches forward is 32 pounds. Three inches forward is 42 pounds of extra stress and load that those muscles in the posterior back part of the neck have to hold up. As a result of that, the head being like a heavy bowling ball multiplied by three or four times, these discs will eventually start to become weaker. The outside fibers start to wear and tear, causing the gel inside the disc called the nucleus pulposus to protrude, causing bulging discs and herniated discs and sequestered discs. And the, the list goes on, but the bottom line is, is that the nerves where they, they come out, they exit out, the yellow nerves become inflamed and irritated, affecting different parts of the body. The nerves in the neck go down into the shoulders, down the arm and hands, into the fingers, into the chest, between the shoulder blades, behind the skull, over the head, behind the eyes, causing all those types of pains, tingling, numbness, cramping, or aching, or all of the above. So the first thing you need to look at is how is your posture? Look in a mirror. Put your arms by your side. Look to see how your arms are facing the front of your hands. If you see the front of your hands facing forward or a little bit towards you, that's good. But if you start noticing the back of your hands facing more forward, that's not good. When the back of your hands face forward, that means your shoulders are pronated. Look at my shoulders. Here is open and they start to pronate and round forward. Now, that should tell you something in itself. So realize that when your hands, the back of your hands, are facing more forward, that means your rounded shoulders, that means your head has to go forward and your chest is coming in together. If your hands are open up, you can feel your, your, yourself standing up taller, you can feel the chest come out, you can feel the ears come over the shoulders, and you feel the shoulder blades start to pinch back together. You're gonna to use the, a broom or something compatible to it, and you're gonna hold out in front of you. And what I'm gonna have you do, you can look at my arms, look, I have uh, maybe about 90 degrees uh, in my elbow area. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm, as I hold it, I'm just gonna pull it apart. And as I pull it apart, I want you to stand straight, you'll feel your chest open up, you'll feel the muscles behind your shoulders start to contract, and you'll actually feel the muscles inside your shoulder blades, called the rhomboids, the middle traps, start to contract as well. And as you pull, you're just gonna to continue to pull for a good 25, 30 seconds and relax. Okay, let's try it again. As you pull, you feel your head go higher up to the sky, you feel your chest arise outwards, you'll feel your shoulders and your, your ears become more aligned, you'll feel the muscles between the sh shoulder blades as well as behind the shoulders start to contract. You'll do that a good 25, 30 seconds. And I'd like you to do about four or five sets of those. So I'd like you to do this exercise daily if you can. It's safe, it's effective. You're just isometrically contracting the retractor muscles, the muscles that are needed to allow you to sustain good posture. Remember, by strengthening these muscles will work the opposite effect of what you've been doing all these days, months, and years, particularly with all that forward head down, looking down on a computer, texting, or whatever you're doing, you need to change it now. The longer you wait, the more degeneration that's going to occur. Leave your questions below. If you're a new subscriber, I ask you to subscribe so you can continue to get these new videos when it comes down to prevention and good health. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.